The following program is intended for mature audiences. I'm just trying to figure out well, how did they figure out what the smell? How did they figure out the smell? I actually heard something for Erica Badu, and I don't remember what it was, and I'm really disappointed now. What do you mean? Like how really? they, how they forgot the, what the smell was. You say you're disappointed? No, because I don't remember what it was. Cotton swab and just, you know. No, it wasn't that. Dab it. (laughs) Do a little dab. (laughs) And then put it in a a little Ziploc bag and hand it to the. (sighs) Recreate this. (laughs) You're now listening to the Truth Be Told podcast from Trillmatic.com. Trillmatic.com. Lay low, lay low. 200, 200. Episode, episode. 200, 200. Lay low, lay low. Feel about to start rapping? Yeah, I'm gonna start rapping too. It's episode 200 and we're gonna come up at you. You gotta give us a slower floating there. What's that? You gotta give us a slower floating. Yeah, you're Listen, right. I don't know. I feel like I'm probably like right fast. I feel like I was, we was about to hit it. I feel I like we was about to hit that bitch. I was about to kill him. What it do, Trillio? <laughs> what it do? Episode 200 of the Truth Be Told podcast. 200, baby. 200. We made it. Mama, <laughs> we made it. God, damn, 200. <laughs> Shit. Niggas is tired. Uh, we do this for y'all. We do. We do it for the trillions. Uh, it's your boy Big UU in this thing. Reefa. Black Tide thing. is also in this thing, but y'all know yes. he don't introduce himself even after all. <laughs> this nigga, dog. He's doing the hat tip. <laughs> he, Yo, he's this, on that right this now. This is how, this is what that nigga would do if he had a fedora. <laughs> Oh, he'd, he'd, he'd do, that little tip for He'd grab it. He'd actually do Oh, he'd grab it from the top. Being a fedora, he'd be like, <laughs> pop it back on. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> we appreciate everybody for joining us. Make sure you subscribe. On your favorite podcast yes. app, make sure you uh, give us a five star review on the Apple Podcast app because we are your favorite podcast. That's right, we are your favorite podcast. Uh, shout out to all the Spotify listeners out there, y'all are uh, cool with me. All right, <laughs> always. Shout out to the new listeners because uh, I got a couple of ads running online right now. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the couple of new listeners that came in. It's like, what the fuck is these niggas gonna be talking about? Uh, you about to see, bitch? You know now. Now. Uh, make sure you go to, uh, subscribe to our YouTube, trillmag.com slash YouTube. All right. But if you go to trillmag.com slash contest <laughs> before, okay, you can figure out how you can subscribe and win a hundred dollars through Cash App as well as an Amazon Echo Dot. Okay. So you can be like Alexa. Play real niggas, and then we come on. And then the Truth Be Told <laughs> podcast pops up. Exactly. That's just the way it is. <laughs> These niggas got it. They getting it. Okay, y'all getting it. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, if you uh, would like to support the podcast further so we can further grow, further grow our audience, go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash Truth Be Told Pod. Yes. Okay? Please do. It is appreciated. We, we, we do that. Yeah. And if you help us, we will be able to give you more back. Right. That's patreon.com slash truth be told pod. Uh, if you do become a patron, guess what? You'll be able to see Black Tide. Okay. Cause that's what everybody wants to see. Mm-hmm. Black Tide. All right. That will happen. <laughs> We're not playing with you. It will happen. Right. So um, we got to hit the mark though. We got to hit the mark. Absolutely. Uh, where the fuck do we want to start? Where do we? Begin. I have a great place. Because you just said you're going to tell, tell Alexa what to do. They're going to pull us up. Okay. Right. There, there may be doubters. <laughs> they may say, hey, they ain't talking about nothing. But guess what? The artists that make the song say otherwise. Okay. Oh. Tell them about the Twitter. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, tell them about the Twitter. What, what am I telling them about on Twitter? You're tell them about Twitter. You we did a reaction we video. We did a reaction video. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, um, we sure did. We did a uh, reaction video to, uh, what was it? Fucking around, fucking around, uh, phony people featuring yep. uh, Meg The Stallion. Yes, uh, which you can check that out on our YouTube. Uh, phony people actually retweeted and said, "This is great. This is this is this is mm. great." LOL. Yes. Um, what do you know? Right. The actual artist. 
Right. We've also had Big Crit come through and uh, uh, comment before, as well as Mad Skills. Mad Skills did uh, yeah. commented before. Uh, so we appreciate like other rappers and stuff listening Definitely. to our podcast. Now, if I can just get Meg to just <laughs> give me just just a smile face with a few or a moments heart. of her time. He just wants a smile face with the hard eyes. That's all he wants. Like she, she just down the road. She can just swing through for episode. If she hey, send me the hard eyes, I'll die with a smile on my face. Yeah, that's, that's all he wants. That's all, that's what I'm saying. That's all he's asking for. One that's hard eye, lot. one hard eye. I'll be like, okay. Oh, the wink. That's more. Two hard eyes. I'm like, okay, get a hold of yourself. Three <laughs> hard eyes. We're getting fucking married. Yeah. That's it. All right. All right. So, how love you, Meg. You know what I'm saying? But no, shout out to Funny People, man. It was a great song. Make sure y'all check it yes. out. It was a great video. I'm going to put it in the descriptions for y'all to check it out. So Definitely. We appreciate that to the, to Phony People. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. So, where else we, where else well, we want to go with this? Th- yeah. This episode might be kind of <laughs> shooting from the hip a bit because I realized we went straight from the reactions to this without asking if anyone had anything to put on the board. <laughs> so, we'll see where we end up. Okay. Right. I'm not um, mad at that. Today was also... Uh, Kobe Day, if you will. That's right. That's um, right. I did watch uh, some of it on title, but not all of it. Yeah, they they had a, a public service forum mm-hmm. in L.A. A uh, ton of people there. You got to see a bunch of people that you would want to hear talk. Got to speak. Um, Shaq, of course. Michael Jordan, even he spoke. Um, his wife, who that was the mo- most sad thing I've ever seen listening to. to <sighs> I didn't get to see that. It. It's, 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 it's tough. Yeah. You seen it? No, I haven't seen it. Um, it's, it's tough. It, it's it's super sad. But, right. Um, a bunch of current players there, but it was nice to see everybody again come out for him. Yeah. Overwhelming support still. Um. So yeah, you know, just shout out to Kobe. Were there anybody that, that were there any people that were not sports players there? Um. I mean, they, you had like a whole arena full of people. But, yeah, that arena. It looked yeah. like everybody came out. Yeah, there was only everyone, sports people talking on behalf of, um, right. and I, I didn't even get to watch all. Of them. I had to watch in clips. So okay, like okay. some of the big, the first ones I saw were Michael, of course, because he doesn't go to everything. You know, no, you he know? doesn't. Yeah, it's really not often you'd hear him speak. Yeah, but he got to come out for Kobe, man. Yeah, he got to. Yeah, he did, and he even cracked a couple jokes. And then um, the the one I saw <laughs> wait, a lot wait, was before we, we, we're not going to skate over that. <laughs> did I, I, you see this? No, I didn't. So Jordan got up here and he cried. <laughs> Cry, yeah. And then he made a joke about now they about to have me with the Jordan crying meme, a new one for the next four years. But here's a wild thing: somebody on the internet put the Jordan crying meme on, on, on Jordan crying, crying. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we can't have anything nice. <laughs> right, 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 right. Those, are, is this is this reality real? Yeah, I know. Right? It's like, oh, it's, it's the fourth dimension. <laughs> Do we cross over? What, the, what they call that shit? Where they, where they, where, where we, uh, where our parallel universes have combined? What they call that shit? Oh shit! Where they talk? Where they talk about the Bernstein Bears? Was the Bernstein? Oh, oh you were talking, talking about the Mandela effect? The Mandela, yes, <laughs> yeah. the Mandela effect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We pretty much got the Mandela effect. Holy shit! <clears throat> I'll be on the next one. Right. I did see Shaq talk. You know, up there talking as well, man. So. Uh, he's up there kind of crying too, man. But, yeah. uh, it's just sad, man, you know. Very uh, sad. But, uh, I feel like they did Kobe right. <clears throat> Not just at this, uh, at this, uh, memorial, but just period over the last couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. Everyone. How the yeah. NBA, you know, how they, sports, I feel like their world had been really, yeah. right. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I feel like they, they, uh, they did them justice. Uh, so I think he had a, uh, a good, Farewell, if you say. And, and shout out to his wife, because she really doesn't owe any of this to us. Mm-hmm. Right. And for her to continue to go through this and, mm-hmm. and do this, and I think that's great. I'm, I'm glad they were able to have a private service thing like two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. glad they were able to do that privately. <clears throat> and not much, not it, really anything has come out from that. And I'm glad they were able to have that moment, you know, for the family and, and do that. And um, one one other thing I read today is that. Apparently she's gonna uh, sue that company. What the company of the helicopters? Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. So wow. that'll be interesting to. Wow. Was that was that was the helicopter messed up or something? I think she was suing for wrongful death, negligence, and something else. Hmm. I had to pull I, guess, I mean, thing. she can't really sue the pilot. <clears throat> no, but. Uh, 
I feel like that was more pilot only, error. Yeah, I was gonna say if it, only if it was a, a helicopter fault. I feel right. like she's probably gonna win this lawsuit too. Hmm. I guess it just kind of depends. I mean, I don't know the specifics of what happened. Yeah, but, yeah. She she probably will win. That. She might know some. Might know yeah. something we don't. There about. might have been something that caused the pilot to have a pilot error because you know yeah. I've heard I've heard from a helicopter pilot that that helicopter is a very sophisticated helicopter. Same. And normal uh, helicopters usually have like a two person kind of thing where they're both flying it whereas this this one was a one person one so maybe the way that the helicopter was set up and how sophisticated it is probably caused for him to be uh issues yeah yeah for him to you know not make the right decision but i mean who knows they got like the black you know the black box and all that kind of stuff so they probably got a lot more evidence than any of us know anyways oh yeah Mm -hmm. yeah Oh, we'll see how that turns out. <clears throat> R.I.P. to Kobe, man. Yeah, forever. Uh, Rest in peace, man. Gone but not forgotten. Yes, sir. Um, this week we also got unfortunate news about uh up and coming artist Pop Smoke. Right, I, for- I forgot about that, that for too. a second. Yeah, uh, he was uh killed in L.A. I believe. So, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know of. I don't know any Pop Smoke music. Mm-mm. Uh, there's one song I think you've heard. I forget the name. I'll play it for you, but I think you know that one. I've, I mean, I've heard some stuff recently. I went to go like kind of just look after, you know what I'm saying, I'll, to see if I heard anything. But I hadn't heard anything before that. I just didn't know anything. I think I kind of seen his name, and I was just like, oh, okay, you know, young young dude. I've gotten to the point now where you know I'm I'm, I'm 35, man. So I've gotten to the point now where, uh, <laughs> 18, 19, 20 year old uh, rappers, I can't really get into as much. You can't relate to it. I just can't relate to it as much. I mean, I if they if they got bangers that come through, they got bangers that come through. You can't you can't deny those. But like, I don't actively search out for it as much as I used to. I think I'm past that now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, uh, you know, it was just one of those things where I just wasn't checking for it. Not that I didn't like him or whatever. I just it just wasn't on my radar. You know what I'm saying? There's just too many artists out there. Way that, too that, many. That like new. Uh, New York drill scene is new and developing anyway. Too, right. So. so they got a New York drill scene. He was, again, again, I, I'm not an expert on this, but just from listening to other different people talk about it. Right. I guess he was one of the people kind of leading that charge of mm. producing that sound coming from New York, which is not where you typically think when you think of that right. style of rap. But they were saying he was kind of pushing that different sound coming from their city. Mm. Yeah, he's from I think Brooklyn. that's one. I think that was one of the reasons why he was kind of, you know, picking up steam <laughs> the way he had. Right. Now, uh, do they have any information on uh, uh, <laughs> there? There, there's stuff I've seen that it came out, but do you know of any like information? I can it? tell you what I've read and heard. I don't know how much is true. No. At first, they said it was a home invasion. Right. That's then the they thought it may have gone wrong. Then they were wondering, well, how come other people weren't shot? So they're thinking he was targeted. Then they were saying that the call came from New York, which people think, okay, well, how, what was going on that that call came from New York? And a bunch, a lot of gray area around the, the finer details of it. Um, I know they released like the autopsy resorts, uh, results, but they weren't like crazy specific. It was a gunshot wound to the torso, which, I mean, mm. you know, that, it can be anything. You yeah, know? you know, bullets too, man. They, <laughs> yeah. always, they never, you exactly. Know, it's never like a little, sometimes you might get lucky and it just, one one it goes through and go in good. and out. Yeah. You don't hit any arteries yeah. or no no lungs Sometimes or you, nothing. Yeah, it hits a bone and then yeah. yeah, it ricochets and you're done. One thing that I thought was um, interesting, and I like the way they spoke. I heard this on a uh, Joe Budden show. They were talking about how they feel bad for one of his friends, who of course random people out there attacking him, saying it's his fault that. People were able to find the address because something he posted, and you know, well, see, okay, so on, the so address forth. Was on there. Of, of course, when this, when he was, when he was killed, uh, that was the first thing that I had seen. I mm-hmm. had seen that uh, uh, they had, <laughs> I don't know if it was his friend, but he was like, he they got it's his Instagram post where he's like, "Yo, uh, I'm gonna see you soon," you know what I'm saying, and shit like that, and then. I did see the pictures that they were talking about with the uh the vehicle. Yeah, well it was the the, the front of the house. Yeah. The uh, first picture actually blurred out the number which was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Like mm-hmm. photoshopped the number out and then the next and one, one didn't. you can see part of the number. 
but you would know. Which somebody showed how easy it was to find that house with just, just that. Those part of the number. Part right? of the number. And then. Um, and then that bag. Exactly. That bag that had the full address. Yeah, that too. Uh, and then um, I did see where the uh, the the dude was on Instagram saying he was on it. He was, I was just like, bro, what is what the fuck is going on? But he was like, yo, I, I didn't know this was gonna happen. He, you know, he, and I was just like, yo, I started realizing, like, fuck, man, these fucking kids in the internet, bro. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And then they and, just can't and, put this shit down. Yeah, the internet, and and that shows goes to show you how someone can. Put shit together with so little. What with you, so little. And not just necessarily so little. What you would think is so little. Right. Because it's really not. Because every because the internet gives you access to everything now. Right. You can you can type you can literally type in coordinates and zoom in on a specific point on this fucking planet. Right. Anywhere. So I mean, going through social media and seeing an address, you can part of an address, you can you can get that shit. Right. And you can pull up people's cars, license plates, shit like that. Right. Shit's fucking crazy. So real talk, so there was this dude uh maybe a month ago, uh I seen him come across Twitter. This was I think it was a white dude. And he he had just moved to Oakland. Mm-hmm. Uh <laughs> you know Oakland is Oakland. <laughs> it's but it's also kind of going through a gentrification. You know, it's that shit's happening mm-hmm. out there right now. So there's a mix <laughs> of crowds out there, you know what I'm saying? And apparently, uh, he posted this pic. What he did was he posted a picture of his car. You see that, right? Block. On blocks, right? And yeah. so he was just like upset, like, yo, look at this shit or whatever, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, of course, you know, it's what everybody's like looking at it and like, oh, that's what you get for moving to Oakland, you know what I'm saying? Whoop the woo. But the interesting thing was somebody had actually posted his house. On on there and Zillow and the worth that it was and it was like oh you'll be alright you know what I'm saying just like that and then yeah and somebody was like how the fuck did you even find this they so, zoomed in on the cross streets bro you can see the cross streets right <laughs> yep. and then, and then on top of that he he didn't even blur out his license plates on his car yep. it's just that, that easy like that easy everybody can see who you are and what you're doing or that, whatever that easy. Which, I mean, maybe he doesn't feel like that's anything, you know, he has nothing to worry about, you know. But Some if you just don't even know, don't realize that. What they're doing. Do, that could, people could do that with what's in the background. They're just, right. a lot of people are just involved with a selfie. Right. You know, or a picture, you know, of their car and them or something. And they're not even thinking about the giveaways, you know what I'm saying? Right. On the, I always think about that shit. Don't, hell yeah. Especially <laughs> when someone's familiar with an area. Right. Like, you may just see a picture of something and not know anything, but someone who knows that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You might like say somewhere around here, I could be somewhere around taking your bag. Hey, you over by the such and such bag. Right. How do you know that? Right. Because you've been, you know, your that's area. Like, right. That's why yeah. people that be in their house taking selfies or even video walking through their house. I'm like, you, you just open the doors to everybody. To everything. And everybody can see where things are, layout. Fuck all that. Right. Shit. That's true. And then you be, and then you be posting like away on vacation yep. out of out of the Bahamas. It's like, yep. it's like oh, opportunity, ski mask on. right? <laughs> Let's do but this. It's just what it is, man. That is what I it think is. that like be one, careful, uh, shit. You know, <laughs> listen. I'm not saying I'm not I'm not incriminating anybody or anybody. I know, no, I'm not blaming anybody. Yeah, I'm just I mean, saying, like, if if you were from that, you would know that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Straight up, like. Uh, you would just be more aware of that shit because you just know, like, or if you know people like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly, like, exactly. You just be way more aware of of your situation and your surroundings. You man, have to you know, know how saying? how shit really operates, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Shit ain't all peaches and cream. <laughs> it really ain't, man. It's, it's, Fuck no. You know, there's some goons out there, man. So you know, Fuck yeah. Uh, but it just sucks because he's young, man. He's only 20 That's years sad. old. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's sad that it happened the way it did, and if it happened because of that. You know, it's just yeah. Who knows what was going on? What was what was he involved with? I mean, what's caught up to him, possibly, or I mean, or if it was just random as fuck. I mean, who knows? But it doesn't seem too random, you know. But it's just it's sad. It's definitely a sad situation. Uh, I don't know, man. Home invasions. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't think. I don't think people go to certain links for just uh little shit. You know what I'm uh, saying? No. Like they want the safe. You, right. Like if you're if you get in your your house 
you know people be like people be talking shit they be like oh I, I was hacked and I'm like you weren't hacked you know what I'm saying cause mm-hmm. like somebody you gave your information up you were fished something happened where you gave no, your information you clicked hacked. on some shit you shouldn't have clicked on no. but you weren't hacked cause if somebody was doing all that work to fucking hack you who who are you? What do you have? Yeah, what what assets right? do you have that will benefit them? Right, right. Because who's gonna put them put in all that work? That's yeah. so. I just kind of feel like sometimes, like in a situation like that, that's that's planned. You know what I'm saying? Like targeted, premeditated, like, a yeah, setup, so it, it, just something. Exactly right. It's not. It's not just like a a random. See, a random a random would be like some. 15 year old kicking the door to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Still it's been happening fucking randomly. PlayStation or some shit. Yeah, it already been happening randomly to different homes in that neighborhood already, right. and he would just happen to be the next random. Right. Nah. Yeah. It doesn't seem random at all. Nah. But, but yeah, yeah, just, you know, it's sad. Rest in peace to him, man. Uh, yeah, man. Gone, yeah. gone soon, man. Gone too soon for, you know, he didn't even really pop, pop nah. off. Like, he never really got a chance to. Like I said, I I hadn't even really known him, man. I just seen like I actually just seen his album like in the the new albums or whatever. And, you know, a lot mm-hmm. of albums dropped, so I skipped past it. I didn't I didn't know who he was. I hadn't heard anything, so I skipped past it. I kind of feel like if I skip past you like once or twice, you know what I'm saying? Like if it's for you, a probably, you probably like a third or fourth time, then it's like all right, I gotta I start paying attention. I skip past the baby numerous times yeah. mm-hmm. before I was like, all right, it's sure. time to pay attention to the baby. You know what I'm saying? It's just. You know what it is, man. So nothing against. We're Bruce, older. Man. That's what it is, <laughs> bro. bro I, listen, there's so much too many dropping, artists. Bro. Too mm-hmm. many artists. I'm growing up. I'm I'm listening a lot more to older shit. Yeah, you know, with it's, the older heads. So. It's, it's different. It's the same differences when the young was like, I don't want to hear that old energy, or you know, it's like they checking <laughs> for the older rappers. It's like, I, well, the older people ain't necessarily checking for the younger rappers. Exactly. It's opposite. and it's okay. Yeah, that's just the way it is. Right. The way it's always been. Yeah, man. R.I.P. to Pop Smoke, man. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. Youngins, man, y'all got y'all got to get off the internet, man. Don't put so don't much put faith every- and trust in the internet. Don't put everything on the internet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I get it. I get it though. I get like people. They feel like they got to do it for their marketing. Yeah, and it helps the, and them. The, they feel right in business and all that stuff, man. You gotta be smart though. You gotta <sighs> yeah. you gotta do those things not in your at your house. You know, yeah. you're, you're necessarily be Definitely out somewhere. You know, Definitely be somewhere else. Be careful on the internet. Yeah. Be careful. What else we got, bro? Last one we got in Boom Trap. This one's a little more lighthearted. Rolly vs. Rental. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got to look this up because I, I, I actually got a a, 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 a poll. You, you, want, you want to fill Reef in? Well, okay. <laughs> no, I did so, see. I did see. Did I, did, see I did see that, yeah. I see, I see what right. you sent. You know okay, where the girl hands the bag and all that, yeah. So for anyone who hasn't seen, uh, it was this, this gentleman's birthday. Mm-hmm. This girl got him a gift. Um, cologne. He first. wanted a. <laughs> he got he did he got a little cologne, you know, make sure his scent game is right. Um, he wanted a Rolex. Oh, some jewelry. He was not happy because she got him a rental property instead. Mm-hmm. Um, with he, that he, being he, said, he, he really looked hurt. At he did. The, he was, he was very annoyed and I mean, very he upset. Just sat, he kind of just like, which again, we'll have to revisit <laughs> with like, that, but like, a rental property. everyone in the background set, happy, <laughs> set the internet streets on fire. Oh yeah. There was a big, there was a lot of, there was a lot of talking about this. There was a lot of chirping back and forth. Yeah. Um, you heard the homie in the background though while she gave it to him and said, man. Yeah. Oh man. That's, that's a real boss ass shit. Boss, yeah. Right. So, th- I mean, what it really comes down to is what what, what would you get? let me ask what you would, what would, what would you get for you if, now no what real, I real want quick, in that situation or what real would quick I get? somebody found the property <laughs> and posted the and, property whoo, <laughs> and that property is janky as hell yeah. mm-hmm. it needs to be worked on yeah, yeah. it's and not just there's a lot of money that needs to get poured into that thing definitely yeah. a lot of money if you want to make it a viable spot for yeah. a rental even in the hood yeah okay well, I bet, yeah even in a <laughs> even in a trap. Yeah. Okay. Take would you work. take the rental property or would you take a Rolex? And two, I don't know what the hell people are talking about five thousand dollars. 
You know, five thousand dollars for the Rolex. Yes. Well, they actually posted some images of five the lower end Rolex. I'm gonna tell you right now, there's about one. Five there's grand. one that I really, really, really want, and it's fifty thousand dollars. Look at this nigga. Look. Listen, listen. That I really, listen, really want. It's time to bring back that big baller yeah, brand yeah, black that, tie. That, yeah, that ain't, I didn't that ain't say window. I didn't window say I was buying that's, it. Shop. That's future investments. All right, I didn't that's say what I was that is. That ain't window shop. I wanted it. I didn't say I was buying it. So you want somebody to buy it for you? I'm, oh, open, I'm open to the idea. This is a hint, hint. So you wouldn't take the rental so property. You, I'm I'm say, you take that, you take the rental rental property. If, if it was that one or that property, right? I'll take the watch. I'll take, okay, yeah, you're property, right. If it's fifty thousand, you're right. I'll take the watch too. Yeah. But anyway, go ahead. But okay, so you say it's janky. It's horrible. Yeah, it's bad, bad. It's bad, bad. Internet FBI kills but it's, me, man. But they, it's his, right? It's his. It's his. Yeah. You, you know, you Did might you have see to, some of the points that were made. Yo, you might, yeah, you yeah. might have to put in some work. They don't mind on that house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to put in some work, a lot of it, but it's yours. And that Rolex, Ro- Rolex, that Rolex would be yours too. But what the fuck can you do with that? Look, put look, it on here's your the wrist. property. Here's the image of the property right here. Oh, yeah, so some people were like, man, he ain't trying worked. to put all that money into that just to make a little bit. They say he, ain't, he doesn't want to. These pictures aren't great, but this is this is the rental property. Oh, that's a lot of work. Yeah, that is a, a lot, lot of work. work. Yeah, so what you taking? What am I taking? Yeah. <laughs> they said LLC Twitter was up in arms. That, that, that. <laughs> LLC Twitter is just a funny name. I've heard it a few times. You, you, you know what? You know what's funny? I would immediately, I'd honestly just go with the property because I'm bad with watches to begin with. Right. <laughs> Like watches, and they are, know, they, watches don't last forever. Quality watches like that do hold value. Hold value. They do hold value. Mm, and what can, they depreciate, can, they depreciate a little everything. Bit. Can, depreciates, yeah, everything but they, they do hold some value. Can you get the watch and sell it for the money? A lot of money, yes, <laughs> depending on what you get. So okay, I'm just giving you all the facts. Just saying, yeah. <laughs> just saying, just putting information. He's out like, there. I, I know. I'm just giving. I'm not he just putting information numbers. He definitely wants the Rolex. <laughs> and I'm just putting He's information out there. That's all I'm just saying. I did. I did. I did a quick. Uh, poll. I yeah. said, would you, what would you rather get on it for your birthday? Uh, a Rolex, uh, a rental property, or peace and quiet? <laughs> I did see a reply. And peace and quiet, I saw a reply. And peace and quiet Ro- one. Ro- 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 wow. Rolex got 8.9%. Oh, uh, rental cool. property got 42.2%. And peace and quiet wins at 48.9%. It was actually a lot higher earlier. It was and like 57% earlier. Quiet. Yeah, that was quiet. an option, I might have get, I probably would have took that one. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, you didn't give me that option. Somebody said it's my, it's my birthday. I went on three. <laughs> yeah, whoever a, said, whoever a, that, said that? That is a wise great person. answer. Yeah, that is a, a wise answer, person, yeah. right there. They they, they yeah. understand. That the was game. actually that was actually the homie fresh, uh, fresh night out in Austin, man. Oh, okay, who, who does the, the, uh, the breaks? He was on yeah. our, he was on our podcast like uh, a while back, but um, well, good thinking on that one. Yeah, um, but if I had to choose, man, okay, I know you picking. I'm picking a rental property. Yeah. And the only reason I'm I'm saying that is because let's just say it's a shit it's a shit show. <laughs> like I will sit on this motherfucker. Yeah. And wait till they come gentrify this part of the hood. <laughs> and then sell it for a lot. And then sell it, yeah. Uh, like, oh, I'm, I'm holding out. I don't know if you're gonna get a lot out for it, but I would definitely uh sit on it and try to flip it because you can sell the wholesale at that point. You know what I'm saying? You could I mean you could probably flip it for a couple thousand more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like then she got it. You know what I mean? Exactly. Times I forget tough. You have a place. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> yeah, whatever you get mad at the chick. Like well, I'm going, I'm going to the I'm going to my the, second home. I'm going to the rental property. <laughs> it's mine. Or you, you know what you could do? You can also find investors that yeah. will, because uh, there's a lot of people out here that, that will buy, uh, buy what they run know, down homes, run down homes, yeah. and oh, then yeah. you know maybe people will invest and fix it up themselves, and mm-hmm. you go half and half. You know. You, you can learn a little bit. He might, he might, he might learn something. I would say, yeah. The main thing that might happen out of it is, yeah, he'll probably get some learn knowledge off of this and be able to actually take it further next time he's trying to actually get property or figure out how to flip it for real, just without knowing it now. Right. Know, it's something that's an option, nigga. I'm just want y'all to know YouTube exists. Fuck yeah, that'll teach you everything. YouTube exists, y'all. Y'all can everything. You know, y'all, if some of y'all are watching us right now, you can find anything you want on there. Uh, about it. Just say, yo, I got, I, <laughs> I inherited an ugly ass house. What do I do? Yeah. People out there have been in worse situations and figured it out. So, and they will lay it out for you. Right. <laughs> so yeah, man. But shout yeah. out to that. Shout out to that whole. Uh, shout out to that whole uh, internet. Shout out <laughs> internet to everybody who said peace discussion. and quiet. 
That's funny as hell. That that y'all are the real MVP. That is funny as hell. Yeah, 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 y'all are real. Yeah. Uh, what else we got, bro? Um, let's see. I don't have anything under screens. Y'all got anything under screens? No, nah, actually, no. Screens it's, falling. It's, it's down. been a slow news week again, man. Uh, I don't have anything. No, I don't. Oh, except uh, this uh movie that uh I actually seen a uh, trailer for it. I'm glad um, you said that. That reminds me. It was called. Uh, it's actually a Wu Tang. Uh, produced movie and it has a, it has a few different actors in it. I think T.I.'s in it. Uh, who else is in it? Man? It's directed by, uh, RZA. Okay. It's called, um, shit. What is that movie called? Anyways, they got a new movie coming out. Oh, Cutthroat City. Okay. Uh, it's got a lot of people in it, man. Ethan Hawks in it. Uh, Wesley Snipes. I think I did see that. Uh, Terrence Howard. Uh, mm-hmm. And it's kind of it, it. It's even got your boy from um, from uh, what's that? What's that? Uh, what's that young young black kid's name? Uh, that's kind of popping right now. He was in Dope. Shamik Moore. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's got um, Isaiah Washington's in it. Mm-hmm. Ethan Hawke. Like I said, so uh, it's it's supposed to be kind of set in New Orleans after the whole Katrina thing and. Uh, it looks like a good movie, man. It looks like it's gonna be a good movie, so I'm definitely interested in watching it. Y'all should check out the trailer, Cutthroat City. All right, Ti's got a birthmark on his face. <laughs> it's kind of weird because yeah. <laughs> I know it's just makeup, but I'm just like, damn, bro, it look like a real ass birthmark, man. That's what it's got like a white birthmark on his face. Um, that uh, it looks good though. We should have watched that trailer for that uh, one that Meek Mill's in too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, what, what was that called? That actually looks pretty good too. Some Street Kings, wasn't it? Yeah, it's it's produced by Will, by Smith Will and, and Jada, keeping it Philly. Meek Mill starring it. Meek Mill seems like he's a decent actor. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I have to wait till the movie comes out, but he seems like he's legit. Oh. Charm mm-hmm. City Kings. Charm City Kings. It seems like a role where he's not acting, so I think he'll do well. <laughs> he said it seems like a role he's not acting. He's 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 Meek. He's just being Meek. Meek. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Meek also, Mill as I himself. saw another more in-depth trailer. I forget what movie I was watching, but that Christopher Nolan movie coming out. Oh, they got a new, uh, the, a new the, trailer? The, you're talking about the one with, what's his name, the Batman dude? Uh, Denzel, with, uh, Denzel Washington? Yeah, and I, and I saw a lot more in this one. I was, like, I was like, I'm more intrigued now than I was before. Bro, that movie looks yeah. fire, bro. Because it's funny, because I was watching it, I was seeing certain things like, am I seeing this right? And then at the very end of the trailer, they acknowledged what I was seeing, and I was like... Oh yeah, this gonna be it. You talking about when they show the words, like the, no. the title? No, no, no. Like they're like doing stuff, and then I don't want to give away too much. Yeah, see, I know what you're talking about. I, I could just want to see the tenant trailer thing. Actually, I can tell you this because it's in the trailer. I'm not giving nothing yeah, away. You know. But like shit's happening. Looks like it's like it'll happen. And looks like it's moving backwards at the same time. Right, right. Yeah, it's weird. And then, it is weird. And I then, have no clue what the fuck is going on. Well, there's a scene where uh, John David Washington and the other guy are walking around looking at. There's like these bullet holes in his glass, and like, damn, what happened here? And he go, and he looks at him. He's like, I don't know. It didn't happen yet. And right. I was like, what? Right. <laughs> yeah, so I want to look up the definition of the word tenant, and it's a tenant is one of the principles on which a belief or theory is based. I don't know what the fuck that yeah, means. When he said it didn't happen yet, and I was like, okay, they're moving through time somehow. <laughs> yeah, I'm intrigued though. I've really want to mention, bro. It was weird because in the the trailer, the ship is moving forward, right? But the waves are moving, moving backwards. Back. Yeah. Like, He's yeah. also working out on the ship, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I want to know what the fuck. Yeah, it looks very interesting. But that, that's I'm confused. I can't wait for that one. That's the beauty of a Christopher Nolan movie. I know. Because like, I know she's going to be fine. It fire. captivates you. You know what I'm saying? You're just like, ah, I want more. You see it and then you're mind blown. Yeah. I'm, it's going to suck because there's it, it, not going to be another Christopher Nolan. Nah, there ain't. Yeah. That man is a genius. He's on a different he, level. He's, he's, he's great behind the director chair. Yeah. Definitely. This, this, I think this is going to be uh, Denzel. What's it? I keep on I keep on. John what's David Washington. John David <laughs> Washington. This is going to be his breakout. Yeah. His breakout role. Yeah, I really set it off. Yeah. I think he's going to set it off after this. Working with Christopher Nolan usually gets you there. Yeah, I agree. Uh, what one, else? We- one other thing I saw, uh, I, don't, I don't remember all the names, but I'd seen uh, something recently about the new Mortal Kombat movie coming. They got a uh, new Mortal Kombat movie? Yeah. Really? I think James Wan has something to do with it, too. Like I'm pretty sure it's rated R, too. Yeah, rated R. It's supposed and to they be. Got, they, I was seeing a lot of the casting, and the casting looks good. 
I can't remember who they were. So they're just doing like the they're just actors, working on it and shit. The, they've, they've already it's like greenlit it's already oh ready yeah to go. yeah that's, it's, it's, they've already started it's casting be, it's, well, yeah it's supposed to be I think filming or maybe either filming or coming out sometime next year alright Mortal, yeah, no Mortal, yeah, no Mortal Kombat let's do it and I can't wait I can't wait to see it 2021 when it's oh, okay. supposed to come out so I think they are filming already good cause they need they need to redo redo it they need to redo Street Fighter too yeah, that definitely needs a redo. Yeah, I mean, at least the first Mortal Kombat was good. The they can make Street Fighter so fire too. I don't understand it. Like, uh, should be able to. They they had the uh, they have they had the Street Fighter cartoon. Uh huh. That shit was fire. I seen a live action like a, a little mini series on Street Fighter, and that shit was pretty dope. Right. You know what I'm saying it wasn't bad. It had Akuma, Ryu, and Ken. Yeah. Their story. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah it, it, it wasn't that bad. I mean, obviously it was. Lower budget, but <laughs> yeah. the thing is, the you know, internet, in the right movie. direction, it was better than the movie, right? You know? Yeah, but, I seen, I seen, I remember seeing an animated version of, uh, and I'll never forget. It was Chun Li. She was taking a shower. Oh, look at Vega you. comes in trying to kill her, mm-hmm. and they're like fighting in her apartment, and it's like yeah. a bloody, like just bloody fight. Ma- yes, bro, yeah. serious, bro. And I'm like, oh, they could, they Vega could do the a movie. Yeah, yeah, they could. They yeah. can make that shit super dope too. Yeah, uh, oh, man. and I also saw some like leaked, uh, like a leaked little, uh, little quick clip of filming on The Matrix Four. Really? What Keanu Keanu Reeves? He's he he is the fucking man. Like jumping off a building just on a cord, like a little wire thing, and like jumping off the building. Two people, and then at the end, he's like holding up, holding his hand up, or maybe he's the one on top holding someone up. But I think he's the bottom one. And and it's yeah he's ballsy as fuck. It's just just him on a fucking like tight tight rope tight not tight rope but a, a wire. You know what I'm saying? And just literally just jumping off the building and you're just going down and then it just catches you and you just but it's gotta be it's like gotta be a little scary. But right. at his age and him doing his stunt still is just it's fucking crazy. He's he's can't wait for another wick. Like I mean, I saw, just all his uh, movies have me fucking ready. I saw another picture of Batman. Mm-hmm. So we'll we'll see. He was on a he was on a motorcycle. Have you seen that picture? Are you talking about Pattinson? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did see that. Yeah, I did see that too. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, that that one was that. They're saying that that's the possibly uh what's it called the stunt double. Oh, uh, oh it looked like that was him. They're saying because he had all these dots on his face too. They're saying that they're probably putting they're putting in his chin. Yeah. Or maybe something else. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Gadget. But. Yeah, I mean, it looked it it looked alright. It's kind of I'm kind of still a little like, are they gonna add stuff after and post production or whatever? And I don't know what's going on with it, but it's not bad. The bike is a little got the ears on there too, like a cow on the fucking bike. I was like, really? But <laughs> yeah, yeah it's a little, little. but that's also paying homage to like old school animation or old school uh, comics where that's how Batman was. And I'm glad they revealed the ears too, because everybody was giving a shit. Like, yeah. well, what are the ears gonna look like? And it's like, all right, he's gonna have some pointy ones. It's gonna be longer than Ben Affleck's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Those little stubby ones, but but you know, I'm excited. They're saying that I was supposed to be Selena Kyle uh next to him also on the motorcycle, the one riding with him. Cause you seen the one where he crashed? Mm-hmm. Because he was riding a bike and then it was raining kinda of, and then it kinda of slid to the side and the bike fell, but the person next to him was supposed to be Catwoman. But you don't see her outfit because she's wearing, you know, like a biker outfit, leather and shit. So I don't know. Ooh, okay. Let's we'll see. Can't wait. I can't wait for it. I'm, I hope it's good. Better be good. All right. We shall see. Um, for the culture. Mm-hmm. Roddy Rich. Still number one. Seven weeks, nigga. The box. They are listening to us, <laughs> nigga. Thank you. Because I think he was off us. for a week, then came back, and it's been a couple more since he came back. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I was I was on Twitter, just scrolling. <laughs> People like to retweet porn into the timeline. Mm-hmm. There's a girl <clears throat> twerking on like a toy. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, going hard, like super hard. She's like, I want to show you how uh-huh. hard and how fast I can go, and she's just going off. And the only thing I could pay attention to in the background was I was like, "Is that Roddy Rich playing?" <laughs> <laughs> it just tells me that that I was like, damn, this motherfucker. He's he's you know he's like the internet background song yeah. video, yeah. right? Oh yeah, everybody's Everything. playing his song in the background of their videos. Yeah, shout out to Roddy Rich, man, amazing. 
It's a legend he, in the making. He's, he's everywhere already. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Shout out to Brody, man. He's out here. I did not know he was. I want him to go along, but I didn't know he was going to go seven weeks. I mean, I, mean, I hear his, uh, his shit all, like the box constantly here in, uh, in cars driving around. You know, you kind <laughs> Damn, of, you I knew that shit was going to be very a unique. It's the, it's the sound of that yeah. beat, too. It's very unique, very catchy. Right. You know, lyrics right on point with it. Right. You know, just, I done put a hundred bands on Zimmerman shit. I love it. It's a hit. Yeah. Definitely. Congrats. Smells me on the culture. Uh, you watched the pull up? Uh, which one? Big Sean? I did watch the Another pull up. Another little while is out. Um, I didn't watch Big Sean yet just because as much as I do enjoy some of Joe Budden's stuff, everything he does is so damn long. Yeah, uh, well, I'm gonna tell you like this: the Big Sean one wasn't as interesting as it should have been. Mm-hmm. Um, so I won't say that you're missing, uh, uh, you're not missing much. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I will say that uh, I saw your comment on it. I was like, interesting. Yeah, because w- what I said was I, I I wish that Big Sean and Joe Budden w- would have been honest with each other on this. Uh, and somebody asked, like, what do you mean by that? Um, so there was just a couple of things that like were asked or, or said, and they just weren't given the honest answers. And it could be because Joe Budden has gone a little hard on a uh, big Sean. He's gone a little hard on Janae Aiko as well. So there may be some tension there a little bit. Um, were where they they're not really as were they avoiding answers, or they were just like not being honest at all. I, was, I just feel like they weren't being honest. There was one point where, uh, where Joe asked Big Sean, how are you, how are you and Kanye? And there was a little bit of hesitation from Big Sean. And I kind of felt like he wanted to say, I don't know what, I don't know what shit this nigga on right now. That's what I kind of felt like Big Sean wanted to say. But what came out was, we're great. And I can just see, I was like, that's, that's just like the a, hesitation and everything. I was just like, bro, that's, you don't really feel like that. Like, there's something else going on right there. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I kind of feel like he's just, he knows he needs to say that because. The answer for the camera. It's Kanye. Kanye put him on, gave him every, pretty much his whole life. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's like putting on a fake smile when you're in a, when you're mad. Yeah. You know? Right. Um, so there was that, but then there was another part where Joe Budden had asked Big Sean, uh, no, he had uh yeah, he had asked Big Sean who he thought the best rappers were on good music and Big Sean said, I I am. And I could kind of feel like Joe didn't believe that. <laughs> yeah. But he didn't say that. And then Big Sean asked him, Well, who do you think is the best rapper on good music? And then he kinda said, Oh, well, I mean, between you, Saha or Pusha T. Right, either one of y'all will take it, and then he pivoted See. real quick to something else, and I was like, "Bro, I know for a fact you do not believe that." I that listen to that you know that's, that's, that's true. It. You're a thousand percent correct mm-hmm. because I listen to his show all the time, right? And I know his truthful answer is not even close. It's sci high <laughs> you because know. he talks about it all the okay, time. You're right. He does, you're right. <laughs> I, I, you're right. I think he. I think he would have. I think I felt like he would have said, "But you T. But he could have said Saha. It's too. definitely But I Sahai. know for a fact that he does not think Big Sean is on the same level as Saha or Pusha. So it was no, an answer for the interview. Right. It's just an answer for the interview. So that's what I'm no. saying. There was a lot of there was a lot of stuff like that back and forth where you know, I mean, of course we did, I get to I got to learn a little more about Big Sean and and kind of what he's been dealing with the you know, in the past, in the past couple of years or whatever. Yeah. Just you know, how how they spoke about that. It was his idea. It was him and uh, Janae's idea to do 2088, not the labels, and how much he had to fight for that album to come out. But um, I got, you got to learn about Big Sean and just, you know, uh, depression that he was dealing with and getting money and then buying this house that he wanted and then he's in the house and fucking hates his life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All that kind of shit. And, uh, but I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't like there was like, just some, just some wild uncoverings of of stuff that I, you know, I felt like I was gonna get a little bit more, which I don't know. I don't feel like I, we got as much. Only reason I felt like that is because I don't know. I don't. I don't think they truly like each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even when, even when he Joe made a joke about him being blocked by Janae, and Big Sean said, uh, "Well, it's because you was talking all that shit." I guess. And I just thought that I guess. At the end of that, was like, 
You didn't need to add that. I don't know, man. It just kind of felt like weird. Like, the, like their whole dynamic it. was just kind of weird, man. I, I didn't know what was going on there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So basically, it's just you know they're they're just doing it to do it, but they both are like. like <sighs> <laughs> I mean, they weren't beefing or nothing. You yeah, know what I'm but, saying? But it was it was a very cordial and. But at the time, I, you're not getting you're not getting the full potential of an interview if you both still feel a certain way by right. each other, so and was, you're was, not. And he clearly was very touching softball. on it. Yeah. He gets on Big Sean a lot on his a show. lot, a right. lot, and Big Sean has clearly heard this shit. Yeah, because yeah. uh, he speaks about that. He's clearly heard this shit. But ouch, yeah. uh, it, it, it it comes back to you like when you do that, you know. He's okay with, I guess, some some situations, because you know, at the end of the day, it's everybody's opinion on music. Yeah. So, and he's he's as Big Sean or any rapper out there, you should be okay with people giving their opinion of, of your music, and, whether it's good or bad. Yeah, yeah. They, just because they don't like your music doesn't mean they don't like you as a person. And I know it's hard for artists to like not take like take something that they create and then take criticism on it and not feel like they're being criticized, but. Mm-hmm. If it seems like Big Sean is well aware of, like, I'm not going to take that personally. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I do kind of feel like they, they didn't really get to the nitty gritty just because. They danced around it. Yeah, I feel like there was some stuff they danced around that. So I feel like Charlemagne would have. He, he would have just dug right into it. I feel like he would have dug dug in a little bit deeper. Yeah, you know what I'm, I'm sure he would have. And pushed a little bit harder. He don't, he don't hold back. Yeah. He don't. Yeah. yeah. But that's that's what I got on that, man. Okay. If y'all got three and a half hours, go watch it. I mean, I don't think it's three and a half. I think it's like two and a half hours. Two and a half. Yeah, two and a half hours. And I mean, every episode of the show they put out is like two and a half on the weekend, three in the middle of the week. It's It's way too much. Everything you do is so long form. Yeah. You got, you got, Joe, Joe Budden got to cut that shit down. The man loves to talk. Yeah. Cut the show down to like an hour and a half. Cut the damn pull ups to like an hour max. When I think. I don't know if I've watched any of his pull ups like in there in its entirety. Like there's only a Oh couple. no, I never never. I think Black might Except have been the for only Pusha one. T. I did. Yeah. I watched that one in its entirety. That one and Black, I think, were the only two that I did. Because it's just so long. Right. But yeah. That's edited. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. They edit that. Shit. Yeah. Did you watch T T Pain? I did watch T Pain. <laughs> I feel like you watched that. I did. I forgot <laughs> about T Pain. I definitely watched T Pain. I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah. I definitely watched T Pain. I, I forgot get about that one. T-Pain. I think I did like maybe half an hour, and I was like, "All right, I'm good with this." That's because you're disrespectful. But no, I'm not disrespectful. I was just like, <laughs> "All right, man." He's like, uh, uh, "Whatever." Let's move on, man. Um, in uh, respect your elders. Okay. So you were telling me and Reef about this new incense you bought. <laughs> ah, <laughs> shit, nigga. <laughs> Yo, uh, yo, you heard about his incense? Incense. No. The Erica Badu incense? Uh-uh. <laughs> Erica Badu Eric, incense? So he came out with her own incense. Yeah. That smells like her vagina. And here's the wild thing. It came out and it sold out immediately. <laughs> That's the wildest thing. So here's the so what is so funny? They want to know if it burns on and on and on and on. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. What is so funny? You got it. You so got I, it. there was somebody posted. You got it. Somebody posted a VR. Oh god. You know how people you know how people uh do do the, do the reviews on YouTube and shit? <laughs> yes. So this dude is doing a, a a review, it's a fake review, but he's like doing a review, he's lighting, he's like, Oh, this smells good. And he just fucking starts eating the insane. Oh my god. <laughs> So if it smells good, it must taste good. <laughs> I'm talking about eating that shit like a Slim Jim, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna find Ooh, a video. Yeah. I'm gonna find a video for you. <laughs> I was like, y'all niggas are wild. And then he man. used the stick as a toothpick after. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he just started crunching and everything. Yeah, but no, it sold out, man. So she's gonna she's gonna bring it out. But here's the thing that's gonna be interesting. Oh, I believe that. If if it's sold out and it's sold as as many as people might think that it did or whatever, then I believe that there's going to be a trend of people that are going to be putting out incenses that smell like them, like their vaginas. Yeah. I think Rihanna. This, will, this is. Uh, <laughs> I feel like Meg will. Uh, I thought it was crazy when, when who was it? Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow did the candle. She did a candle like that? Yes. Smell like a vagina? Yes. Before this, the incense thing. Really? And everybody's like, what the fuck? And people bought it. Then this. 
People bought it. What did it smell like? I, I say this to say that <laughs> what hey, Iron Man What did it smell like? <laughs> now, that's, now that's quality. Like, that's right, quality. Right. That is quality. That is quality. <laughs> what did it smell like? Yeah. So Shout out I didn't know Gwyneth Prosser did that. I'm yeah, pretty sure it was her. Yeah, we're in a while. The Iron Man. So that's just yo, 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 <laughs> yo, women, uh, yo, <laughs> yo, just, uh, just imagine you as a dude, like, yo, I'm about to make this incense of my, like, of my balls. Smell like my balls. Smell like my balls. My... Yeah, it was Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> smell, <laughs> like smell like in between my balls and my dick. <laughs> Yo, that shit would be yo. If you put out that shit, we wouldn't be calling you ego filled and yeah. like they would be shitting all over men for doing this shit. Women, they don't got no problem. Yeah, go uh-huh. ahead. Yeah. She was fifty eight dollars. Hey, those women, those women, like, fifty eight dollars for the what? The candle? I think the incense was fifty bucks. Hey, <laughs> I mean, and, you get and, three, and, and it sold out also. The candle? Hey, well, if the candle, Gwyneth Paltrow and Erica Badu both know that that people still want to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out well, how did they figure out what the smell? How did they figure out the smell? I actually heard something for Erica Badu, and I don't remember what it was, and I'm really disappointed now. What do you mean? Like really? how they how they forgot the, what the smell was? You I'm say like, you're disappointed? No, because I don't like remember a, what it was. Cotton like, swab, but just you know, no, it wasn't like, that. Dab it. <laughs> do a little dab, <laughs> and then put it in the <laughs> put it in the little Ziploc bag and oh, hand shit. it to the. Like, recreate this. <laughs> yeah, that's weird, man. How does that work? Yeah, and do you do you wait till it gets like you know, <laughs> man? Like you kind of let this it can get really. A bit? This can get I'm really just bad. wondering. You know what I'm saying, I, uh, the thoughts going through my head. Yeah, I'm just saying. Just <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know what the process is. Like, yeah, what do you do? I'm thinking of ways that you come to, and it's just wow. I don't know. What the website, website states? states. Okay, okay, it's a website. All right. The website states. I like to hear this information. The product was created with the ashes of Badu's underwear. What? Uh, hold on, they burnt some of her Pure underwear. Pure resin, handmade, sun dried, also created with essential oils and herbs. Hold up. Okay, wait. A she minute. has a lot. Of, okay, well, obviously they're not using her underwear every time. So she. So okay. But so she has. A, she has. Her, oh, oh, there's more. Freshly okay. worn, right? And I quote. I these took lots of pairs of my authentic. panties, cut them up clean. into little pieces, and burned them. What? Even the ashes part of it. So they take the ashes, take the draws, burn the draws. Okay. But these have to be draws that are like... These got to be used draws. Yeah, they got to be worn. Okay, so there's... Burn the draws. Okay, so they're... they're How used, used are these? They're like, I just buy these warm ones, and then I... Here you go. Nah, these got to nah, be... I feel like, like they, they have to be marinated. Marinated. Yes. That just like sounds bad to say it like, like that with we're talking about she marinating. Has a, like she can take a shower, but she hasn't put those drawers back on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why do I agree to that? No, no, no. <laughs> this is a wild topic. What? I'm I'm we didn't make it up. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We did it. We just get to speculate because we're this just is reporting real the thing. news. This is, <laughs> this is very important. <laughs> just reporting the news. This, and this is important news, too. We need to figure this out. This needs to be known. <laughs> We're just reporting the news. That's funny. Uh, I mean, no, nah, I mean we're just the middlemen. So you, you get you, you get a marinated draws, <laughs> multiple ones. Okay. Yes. Burn them. Mm-hmm. All right. They got ashes. Mix them with essential oils and herbs. Yes, so. And and you make your. This is gonna get real explicit. Like your incense. So is, is it just worn draws like that smell, <laughs> or has she? Man, I, I don't want to get like that. I don't want to disrespect Miss Bad. Man, I love you, Eric. Yeah, this, listen, I'm just. <laughs> she's like, but did, hey, but did, she is did, selling did, it. Did, did she have to get wet in them drawers for them, and then, and then, you know, it's like for she, it to be more. That's what I'm saying. Aroma, right? You know, or authentic you her. You, you, you know think it's like just the outer, it, just like just wearing it. It's like that's, I, you can't really get any aroma from that. You, you have don't. To, you have to get within. Yeah. So y'all, y'all looking for them hot yoga draws? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You, you should have to. You got to get her working out. There you go. You yes. Do a little workout. Look, spend some time on the bike. On yeah. The bicycle. There you go. Oh, bye. Right. Yeah. Yoga pants, bicycle. Right. Perfect draws. Jumping jacks. Perfect draws. Right after, like they're good to go. They've been marinated. Bicycle, forty jumping jacks. Say when you come down, you that one with the le- 
<laughs> yeah, the leg. Okay, the, leg press or whatever. Yeah, that 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 thigh. The, the thigh, yeah. The thigh thing. Thigh press. I don't know what it's called. You get a good fragrance. Yeah. Go home, take a shower, come back, work out again, mm-hmm. put those same ones on, double do the up. same workout, and then you take them and put them in the in the in the bag that you burn. You take the burn. Yeah. Yeah. Just put them in the bag. Oh boy. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Shout we, out to we, Erica Badu, we love man. you, Erica Badu. Hey man, you gotta get your money, man. I'm not mad at her, man. She she's monetizing. Sold out in 20 minutes. So, so she knows she has a high quality for it. If you're if you're hearing this, send us a sample. I would really like to get a fucking sample from send Erica sample. Badu. Yeah, straight up. Okay, listen, we're from Texas too. Please send a sample. All right, let's move on. <laughs> I can't believe we talked about this for as long as we did. Um, <laughs> and then asked for the please send a sample, please. <laughs> it would mean so much to I would us. really like to get a sample. I really would. And trillions, if we do get a sample, we will do a live reaction. If video. we do get yes, a sample, make sure y'all all tag Erica Badu to get us yes. a sample so we can do get a, live, that sample. Um, a live smell. Artistic ignorance. We have uh, we did two reactions for y'all this week. Uh, that's right. We did. We did D Smoke, who uh won on uh Rhythm and Flow, mm-hmm. uh from Netflix. He had a new video called Black. Uh, what was it called? Black Habits. Black, Black Habits. Yeah. Um, we definitely talked about how he uh he he has a little bit of a Kendrick vibe, but yes, he does. Uh, I don't think that's gonna deter him. Yeah, we also leave it up the, to y'all to decide what y'all think of it. Like if it's too much or you know, if it's maybe the new sound of the West. Uh, it's possibly the new sound of the West. Could be. We'll see. I mean, we shall see. Yeah. Uh, and then we also did one for Griselda, who I spoke briefly on. Okay, uh, this is a freestyle on Fire in the Booth. Fire in the Booth! <laughs> uh, I, I kind of feel like Griselda right now is, is, has, has edged their way into top rap group label, mm-hmm. uh, talks. Yeah. Um, I feel like, Last year they, they made a lot of noise, but this year it's kind of starting to be seen a lot more. Um, yeah, and uh, I feel like they're just they're just going straight up at this point. So and with their energy and their style, I feel like they didn't just like force their way in. I feel like they kicked open the door and were like ski mask on and everything. Like bitch, we here. Right. That it felt more of a bitch, we here, not a hey. Let us can can we slide up in here? Right. Uh, definitely. Great vibes and great, great uh, music coming from there. Definitely. It's 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 quality. It's quality shit. I love it. Yeah. Um, I thought the freestyle was great on that too, man. But I I, I really like what they're doing and uh, <laughs> help support them. Shit. I, yeah, I hope they do. I, I would I would like to go to one of the shows. I I would definitely bring a bulletproof vest, but I would definitely like to go. Yeah, <laughs> I would too. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Cause somebody's Some gonna br- start shooting. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Bulletproof vest, brass knuckles. Right. You know what I'm saying? You might have to have a chain you, somewhere in there. You de- yeah, you definitely, you definitely got to have a switchblade. Mm-hmm. Um, Razor possibly blade. Possibly twenty two in the boot. You know twenty two in the boot. Yep. Yeah. yeah, in your boot, in your, in, in your boot. Um, Did you see Black Youngster pull out that gun at that show? No. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> pull it up. <laughs> Yeah, he pulled out a gun at a show. Yeah, he, told, he was, he was <laughs> wearing somebody on in, on the crowd in the crowd. They said, "Hold on." It said, <laughs> "I'll just give you the headline." Black gangster seemingly pulls gun out on stage after crowd gets after crowd gets hostile. What? <laughs> Damn. Hey, he we be- were, hey, we were just talking about that shit <laughs> with 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 eight, uh, with Joe Budden when you remember we were saying how he like scolded the crowd and shit. <laughs> right, we were just right, talking right. about that. And we were saying the crowd gets mad like bitch. I can't. You know, yeah. <laughs> I can't. He, Joe Budden was like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't rhyme if you're talking. So, <laughs> here, here he goes. This is uh, during a club performance in South Carolina. Uh, black youngster flashed his gun on stage after the audience got a little heated. In a video that surfaced online, youngster can be seen intimidating hostile individuals in the crowd in self defense. It's not clear what led to the incident, but the rapper was allegedly berated by members of the Charleston Crips. Uh, let's see. It says before he pulled his gun out, he attempted to calm the crowd down. <laughs> He said, I don't know y'all, bro. <laughs> but let's see what else he said. Uh, I don't have no problems with y'all, but we strapped. We with whatever y'all with. We don't give no fuck. Let me do my show. I'm going to come outside. We're going to deal with that. Jesus Christ. This fool brandished his gun like, ah, y'all better 
Better <laughs> act right. Yo, he's got to chill. I hey, do. Because in that crowd, there had to be this more than crazy. just one guy in, in so that crowd. As he's performing, the crowd continues to heckle the Memphis rapper, and then he's quietly handed a gun that appears to have an extended clip attached. <laughs> Chaos ensues as people leave the venue. Oh, shit. Yeah, I bet everyone thought he was about to let loose. <laughs> he's like, no, no, y'all come back. I wasn't going to shoot y'all. I just want y'all attention. <laughs> I just want y'all attention. I want y'all respect. So it's like, yo, fool, you can't do that these days, dog. That's really how it went down. That is crazy. Yo, you can't do that these days, dog. That people, shit is people, are, people are tripping out here about mass We're just telling the shit, youth, man. man. Y'all need to fucking chill. Yeah, you got to chill. Come bro. on. Yeah, you can't these young artists are acting wild. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to leave the show, then leave the show. But don't be out here doing that. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga's probably drunk. You know, end up you're gonna start not just a riot, but like a crowd shooting <laughs> shit for real. It's really starting to turn into the old days out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, I thought we elevated a little bit, but I guess not. We still out here wild. No, we took some steps back. We <laughs> took some steps back. Wow. <clears throat> Get better, culture. Get better. Yeah. Yeah. What happened to enjoying a concert? Yeah. For real. Uh, what else we got, man? Was that it? Um, we got some, we got some, uh, album reviews. I know I got one. I, the only thing I have on here is if you want to talk about Royce. <laughs> yeah. I That's his one. I, I would like to. Did you listen to Royce? Of course not. Oh, shit. I knew it. Okay, shout out. I like something. Shit. <laughs> that shit was loud as fuck. The little <laughs> clip it was this. It just snap back. Uh, so Get Royce, the shit out of me. Royce the Five Nine, uh, just dropped an album called The Allegory. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't listen to of it. Of course I did. No, you know me better than that. Okay. You listen to the whole thing? Of course I did. Okay. All right. Uh, Very Black, good. Black Todd, Black, I just want y'all to know Black Todd don't like this. Did he not listen to it? Black Todd did not listen. Black Todd ain't listening to this shit, bro. What the fuck? This is quality shit on here, bro. That is very good shit. This is, now, you know, I, I don't, my, I don't expect nothing less from Royce. I was on a like, flight and somebody don't want to listen to this. Man, come on. Don't do oh, it. Don't do it man. like that. Okay. Let me, let me tell you something though. I'm going to tell y'all what my true, my true honest. Feeling, okay. I was ready to give him a ten, yeah, but I didn't, it- and I'm gonna tell you why. Mm-hmm. Came to your senses? No, <laughs> I didn't come to my senses. He's still getting like a nine, nine and a half, definitely. But the only thing that that takes me back is, is a- I found out that he produced the entire album, and before I went into it, he produced the whole thing. The whole thing. See, you didn't even know that, huh? See. Now here's here's the wild thing, right? I didn't look into I didn't look into it. Right. <laughs> so before I, I was before I knew that, yeah. So I didn't look at the at the uh, at the credits on time. Yeah, yeah. I was just listening. Before I knew that, I was like, these are some interesting beats. They sound different. Mm-hmm. They they don't sound like what I would normally hear, um, and they sound a little uh, kind of less is more kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, more simple. Uh, yeah, a little more simple. And at first, <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I appreciated that. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I like his his beat selections. And then I found out that he produced the whole thing. So, yeah, and it immediately brought it down for me a little bit. It brought it down. I'm gonna tell you why. Yeah, why? It, <clears throat> why? Why? Because now I'm paying attention to the beats differently. Now I'm listening to the beats as Royce, the, the producer, the that's producer. not uh, a, uh, a, a an expert producer. Yeah. So now I'm hearing things and I'm like, oh, it does sound kind of, I don't want to say amateurs. Amateurs isn't the word. But it doesn't sound like. It's not a seasoned beat maker. Right. I can hear all the things now. So it was yeah. actually, <clears throat> this was wild. I know this is fucked up. Yeah, but- and it kind of sounds like some hater shit. <clears throat> but the beats sounded better to me before I found out that Royce produced all the beats. Yeah. And then when you find out it's Royce, you're like, ah. Yeah, now, because now when I find out it was him, I listen, now I'm listening to it to hear <clears throat> Royce's, uh, like him as a producer. Yeah. Has, yeah. has he came out? Did he do that? Has he done that before? I think he may have done some tracks here and there, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, but has I don't he think grown, he's done. Has he grown from them as a producer? Yes. But, yes. Okay, so he has gotten better. You, you definitely hear. I, I don't remember exactly which ones that he did in like in the past. In the past. I know that there's some, but there are. I'm not saying the beats are trash. Yeah, I'm not saying yeah. that. But, <clears throat> uh, and I do feel like in the future Royce will actually be 
a good producer. Yeah. I don't feel like he's 100% there yet. Uh, and he made, he made a lot of it work. Yeah, he did. You know what I'm saying? With his lyrics. With his lyrics. Cause yeah. it was, his lyrics are more the focus in And his direction, you know, like message, <clears throat> like, you know, exactly. Right. Uh, so, uh, but like I said, it brought it down, not because I feel like the beats were wacker, but because I could notice where he's kind of, I don't say somewhat lacking a little bit or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Or I could see, but before that, it just found, it sounded like some different beats. So I was going to say, so if it would have <laughs> been a seasoned producer and... Or if he went with like a bunch of no-name producers. Okay, that's how you felt it was more like, it was like no-name producers right. that, you know, he's just kind of right. fucking with and they're not necessarily top level, but, you know... They, Right. Okay. That's okay, what I, I was going with. Because I was thinking, I was like, so you're saying, you know, he's not, you know, he's not like a seasoned producer and, you know, and I was like, and they're not that great. I was like, well, it's because he's not a seasoned producer. I was like, if it was a seasoned producer and they were making these beats and you thought you liked them, it's kind of opposite almost, it felt. So I see why people are wondering, then why? I don't get it. Right. But I see what you're saying. If it was unknown producers, right. you know, but are not necessarily, uh, hit makers but right. have you know diamonds in the rough right you know and okay i could see it. i could see how you could go with that yeah i thought they were yeah they weren't they're, they're not, not trash they're, they're not trash they're not typical royce beats that you hear him rap on right. there are some that are like have the sound you know where you know like like some of the ones that have the east coast like i wish a lot of them have that vibe but right I don't oh, know. There's, I think he's. I think it's. It definitely has like a more of like a, a, a like a lyrical rapper beat. Yeah, vibe, but I mean, it reminds me of like. Uh, I can, I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, Black thought, even like right. beat selection wise. Right, right, like, same, right. So or I mean, like Joel Ortiz, uh, Joel Ortiz. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where you know they they they'll they're gonna spit some shit on there. The beat isn't the main focus. Right. But you know, there's still quality beat there, but it's not necessarily like gonna take the cake you know ain't gonna outshine the lyrics right which i actually appreciate in in certain artists because that's why i think there are so many artists out there that aren't that good but are but are still doing it because their production their beat right beats making them last in the game beat selection and you know that usually is what catches people here and make people like a track also but when you got these artists that like i don't need that beat to survive I just need, you know, an all right beat, mediocre, or a beat that's good, but not necessarily a banger, you know, and then they just showcase their lyrics. That's, that's hip hop. Right. Well, he also didn't produce Black Savage, which we heard. That's the we one that was, yeah. Yeah. Saha and T.I. and on there. But everything else was produced by him. The skits, the, uh, yeah, all that. Now, see, you're going to go listen to this. I'm going to listen to it differently. I am. I already heard it twice. I ran through it twice. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Your brain is going to shift. It it might. And how you listen to it because you know that he produced all the tracks. And now you're listening to it as like if you're listening to a Big Crit album. Yeah. You're listening to the whole song as as one. It's a different listen. It is, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Because now you're hearing him Um, as a whole is everything. He's like... If Ben Affleck would have did the directing and and acting in a in a Batman movie, you know, right, right, you kind of critique it differently, right, you know? yeah, not right, versus somebody else doing it. So yeah, uh, but as far as the album goes, man, um, I thought it was, I thought it was dope. I it had a lot of uh, it had a lot of, it had a lot of hard lyrics in there. One of my favorite lines yeah. is in there when he was saying, um, he said, uh, "I don't care about you rappers, you're trending topics. No, yeah, this yeah. shit is garbage." Uh, you couldn't, you couldn't drop a, a classic. Um, you your shit is garbage. You couldn't drop a classic if, if Brenda dropped it or it's something. Been, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. shit like that. It was, it I was, a, about, yeah. I had to rewind. Yeah, yeah definitely. I remember I was thinking yeah. like, that's a hot line. Yeah. I also liked his, he was all like, uh, he was like, uh, they say, or the whole you are what you eat. I ain't never ate goat. Like what he right. said, I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. Uh, bars. Hard. He got he got some he got some hard bars on here. Yeah. But I uh did you if you actually listen to um the track uh Over Overcomer <clears throat> with a uh, West Side Gun? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you hear him dissing uh Yellow Wolf? He did it he did in there, didn't he? Yeah, he did yeah, okay. he Yellow I mean Wolf. I don't got their issue. So, what the fuck uh, are they beefing about? You don't know? No. Well, I was seeing a whole thing about how uh Royce feels that Yellow is, is racist behind 
the scene. And he actually has, I think, heard or seen. He don't have, like, he ain't putting it out or something like that. But he's said he knows how he really is behind the scenes. And that it's kind of like using, he's like, our culture and, you know, our way, you know, like, with hip-hop and everything, using it, like, in a sense, like, a, he feels like, I guess it's a slap in the face, you know, in a sense, where it's like, we have him over here and we're all supporting him and he's using, you know, what we use to put out music and all stuff, hip hop. But I know the real him. Like I know behind the scenes and how he really feels. And what <laughs> That's what he said. He called him a vulture pundit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Basically what I just described. So yeah. yeah. That's how I, I mean, yeah, I was just like, oof. Yeah. He, there is some, uh, definitely some beef right there. Yeah, uh, I, don't think, I don't think it's gonna be resolved either. I don't know. Yeah, I was um, I'm uh, I'm actually kind of uh, I was actually kind of surprised by because he kind of dissed Kid Rock too. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I know. Think he feels, be- no, I think he feels. I think he he thinks he's the same way as well. Like he made he made no shit from behind well, the scenes. Kid, you know? Kid, Kid Rock has definitely uh, put that he <laughs> put that energy out there. Yeah, he's definitely um, stirred that pot. Right. <laughs> Uh, let me see if I can find. I'm, 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 I'm gonna actually read y'all the bar. Um, yeah, he said. Though, he said. Uh, it, it in reaction to to slithers from Liz's mouth, Yellow Wolf. This is what he says, Yellow Wolf. This is your first and your last pass. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna put it on blast. Your punk ass know what this about. Uh, you think it's about being loud and trying to be hostile till you get found face down on the ground mm-hmm. outside a Kid Rock house. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he says, uh, though you're a vulture pundit, I hope you get sober from this. Um, men lie, women lie, so do numbers. Mm-hmm. Uh, the energy never dies so when you are overcomers. Numbers. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. I, 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 I don't, I, I don't quote me on all that, but I did look up some things and it was, it was like, it, that's the basis. Right. I mean, I, I didn't, hadn't got a chance to look into it. Yeah. Yet. I looked into it a little bit because I was just like, what's going on here? Right. But yeah. There was something about that where it's like I think he believes he's racist behind the scenes still. Hmm. Yeah, it's just I guess I don't know. Hmm. I wanna, isn't he still signed to Slim Jady? You talking about Yellow Wolf? Yeah, or, I think I don't know honestly. Is he? I don't think he is. Okay, I don't think he is either. I don't think he is. Yellow anymore. Wolf? He's not. Yeah, I don't think he is. Anymore. I don't I think. I think he started his own shit. It's say, like damn, most artists you, these days. Damn, man, you ain't gonna step in, bro. What? It's like, damn, Eminem, you ain't gonna step in, bro. Oh shit! Well, I think uh, Eminem wants to stay out of it. Like, oh shit. I mean, don't you want to like fix it? I don't know. I don't you know, know if he saying? can fix it if it's already been too damaged. Like, I don't know the extent of why he feels that way. I think they I think they covered it where I was watching it or reading on it or some shit. And uh, I just okay, don't remember it. You're right. He has the Slum American. Uh, <laughs> Bubba Sparks is on Slum American. On Yellow Wolf, that's Yellow Wolf's label. Oh, DJ Paul too. Interesting. Um, DJ Paul. Yeah, yeah. It says roster Slim American. Uh, label. The label was founded in 2012 by Yellow Wolf Slim roster. Slim American's roster DJ includes Paul. DJ Paul, Bubba Sparks, and more. Yeah. Hmm. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they they got some beef. But that uh that 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 track is featuring West Side Gun, which uh to be honest with you. There was, they were all over this album. Uh, Griselda, there was West Side Gun, uh, Conway, yeah, and Benny. I like that he split everybody up. Yes, indeed. I, did. I like that too. <laughs> uh, cause I got three different vibes, uh, which was dope. Um, Vince Staples is on here. Vince Staples, uh, sounds legit. Of course, Crooked King is Crooked. on here. Yes, sir. Uh, Graf is on here, which I hadn't heard Graf in a minute. Cedric the Entertainer is on here. All right. DJ Premier. Yeah, DJ Premier. This was this was this was hard, man. I loved it. Was good, it. it was a very good um, album. Very good album. <laughs> I really like Rhinestone Durag. Did you do your Googles? I, I did. <laughs> you did, didn't you? But I remember it. Hey, he, hey, hey. He, <laughs> That's the funny thing hey, it about was, it. It was a refresher, huh? It was a refresher because he's he's talking about like <laughs> he had to wear this Rhinestone Durag for like the culture. Like, yeah, I did this for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he's like, go do your Googles. But I had already remembered yeah. the rhinestone do rag. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? So I get it, man. Like, I think sometimes too, like the, the new age doesn't realize like there was people before you mm-hmm. and they did a lot of corny shit. Yeah. Mainstream. So they could push 
this shit down so where everybody can be who they are now. You know Comfortably. What I'm Comfortably. Exactly. You wouldn't be able to do the shit like it, but the, the wild shit that's today. That's right. happening today. And be as different as you want to be. As weird and wild and crazy as you can. Yeah. Uh, another thing that I appreciated that he spoke about was when he said, uh, like, people are out here, everybody's independent mm-hmm. and everybody owns their masters, which is great, but we still need to focus on the music. Yeah. And you still have to make the music classic and timeless because, yeah. Because. Owning your masters to shit that nobody gives a fuck about two years, three years yeah. later. What's, what's going to matter then? It doesn't matter. You're not going to make any money off it. It's, you own a bunch of nothing. At like that you said, point. you own a bunch of nothing. Yeah. So if you're going to, you, everybody owns their masters and everything and everybody owns shit. So now we should be focused on quality. On quality. Yeah. This is why I like now. Okay. No, this is <laughs> listen. I'm not trying to turn into the Royce and Eminem shit. I know, I know you. I know, but do you I know get you what I'm to, saying? No, I know what you're saying. With some, the thing is, Eminem does that for people that you don't relate to. That's the difference. Okay, so you. That's what, the difference. What did you get out of Eminem's? I album? don't relate to Eminem either, but I, <laughs> I appreciate the fast bars. That's what I like. I okay, like fast rap right. always. But you see how like there was. But the, I don't relate to shit. Eminem because I'm not. I white. came out. Of, I came. <laughs> I came out of the album just yeah. like a like like higher elevated. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh, I feel you. I see different but, perspective, different views, and I, and but I, he also I, touches on stuff that white people won't understand. You see what I'm saying, though? That they won't get unless they do their googles. And that's why he tells you throughout the thing. You might, you, you might learn some shit here. But side note, yeah, I did. I did like Eminem speaking on this perspective. Yes. Skit. Oh, and what he said was so true. It was hella true. It was uh, on the button. Yeah, it was on the money, and yeah. uh, and I agree. I appreciated what he said too. Yeah, because. Uh, uh, side note too. On top of that, do you do you see that he came out? Um, because he was on King Crooked's podcast. I did not see it, and it, I didn't see it either. But he, yeah. but it came out. He came out and was like, "I am a a guest in in hip hop." No, yeah. uh, because you know that's what your that's boy what was saying. And my boy, no, <laughs> no, my boy, your boy. <laughs> there you go. No, 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 no. Your, your grown man, baby, baby Bizoy. Bizoy. I ain't heard that uh, in a while. I know. <laughs> I ain't said it in a minute. Uh. But it makes sense though, because I, I kind of feel like what he was—I don't know—I got to say a podcast, but I kind of feel like what he might be talking about on that podcast is probably mm-hmm. similar to what he was talking about on this skit. If y'all can go listen to it, it's called Perspective. Yeah, Eminem's kind of just giving you perspective on the on race situation race, or whatever. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's actually pretty interesting, man. Um, it really is. But uh, but no, I I give I give it a I give it a I give it a nine and a half. The only reason I don't give it a ten is because because uh, the beats because the beats you know you, I, not I, to I, say that they're trash but. I almost don't want to rate it before I hear it now knowing that you know what I'm saying because right. like I kind of want to hear it again because like man what beat was with this and that and how right. later but at the same time yo you're gonna hear and you know what's gonna happen you're gonna you're gonna hear the beats and you're gonna be like oh it makes sense no yeah like, yeah uh, you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get it when you hear the beats yeah yeah. I'm telling you, I kind of don't want to rate it now. Honestly. Before, before I knew that he made the beats, I was giving. I was, it was a ten because I wanted to give him a ten. Because now yeah. when you say that and how you brought it, it's like I kind of want. <laughs> I'll ride with a ten now just because I haven't heard it again, <laughs> and I'm not going to go back on it. But I'll, I'm going to re-listen to it again now with that whole different mentality, that whole mindset, and it, breaking it down like that. Just so everybody, I give it a ten. Who, still. Who's, who, who haven't listened to podcasts before? We've we've listened. We've uh, rated. Multiple Royce to Five Nine projects. Yeah. They've all gotten tens. tens yeah. For me and this so is the far. first time that I've done one, and I didn't give him a ten. Yeah. And uh, the y'all, other y'all ones, granted, the other ones, he didn't do his own beats. <laughs> right. That last one, Book Around, that was quality. That I might have to great. give that one a twelve. Yeah, I wanted to give it more than a ten yeah. if we had a higher scale. Book Orion, Book Orion, production wise and like song structure and all that, mm-hmm. I think that was better. But I think this one was. Dope too. I think this is a good high quality Royce album. Don't get yeah. me wrong, but it is a dope um, album. Yeah. Um, this is your highest ranking of the year so far. Oh, okay. Uh, Royce, yeah. uh, Royce always he always gets. He, I think he's probably he's probably our high, most highest rate. Uh, he's most, our highest rated. Yeah, he's and our that's not rated. even like done purposely. That's literally that's really like not. that's based off of skill, just pure right. skill. Yeah, right. skill and what he gives, what he delivers, and which the I quality, never thought the message. That, that when I listen to. Uh, what was his album? Not Death is Certain. The one before that. Um, I can't remember what it's called. But uh, listening to that 
20 years ago or whatever, listen to him now. I never would think that, That's that where he'd be at. Royce would be the guy. I feel like Royce is aging gracefully in hip hop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do agree on that. When I do he said, he, that. he, like when he said, he's funny too, but when he said, uh, he had fell off, uh, of the, of what's been going on ever since the Nene. Yeah. 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 And then he said something about the Hurricane Chris, the A Bay Bay. A Bay Bay. Yeah. Yeah. That, that shit was dope. Hell yeah. And I was like, damn, he's right. I kind of, I'm sorry. I saw fall off too. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It, it definitely is crazy that when you first introduced when we were younger to hear Royce. Right. And, and the journey he's gone through, I would have never thought that he'd be one of the higher, the the top rappers uh, uh, of like delivery, what he's right. giving and what he's putting out, his product, you know, as a whole, he would be one of the top ones to do it. Right now, you right. Know what I'm saying as I'm older, like he, you I knew he was always good. Rappers. I always knew he was good, I and he had he the bars, too. and right. I knew he had the potential. I just didn't know if he was going to get his chance because a lot right. of artists don't, right. you know. They get weaved out somehow, even if they have the skill, you know, they're not appreciated. You know, it happens to a lot of artists and some you just never even will never hear because they just never made it. Right. But to see where he is now, I mean, I appreciate it. I'm happy because I know we're in good hands with artists like Royce. Right. You know what right, I'm saying? right, right. Like when you're getting what you're going to I'm get. happy for him, too, man, oh, yeah. just because he's been doing it for so long. Fuck yeah. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of other rappers that are around his age. That uh, they just don't really, you know, they just don't really got it. Like they didn't age the way he did. He, yeah. even, he even says it in the freaking song. Like it's called "I Don't Age." <laughs> I don't age. Yeah. <laughs> when I heard that, I was like, exactly. Yeah, like I get age. it. Like it, it, he knows. Which maybe is, that's a part of it. Which too, is extremely he, uh, he, hard to do, bro. Because oh, yeah. you're talking about rap now. The time period that Royce came up off was when everybody was like going super cold and super lyrical. Yep. And everybody was inspired by each other, and they were all trying to be the best. Yeah. And now you don't really get that energy anymore. But he's still at that level. Level, definitely, yeah. Which is kind of wild. I think I think he he he's one of the ones that has embraced. I don't know. He embraced it better than others. You know what I'm saying? Like his spot in hip hop, right? Where it's not like he he doesn't try to necessarily go with the times, and he doesn't also stay stagnant. In the past, you right? Know, he, true. He's one of the one of the few because not many people do it where they stay right. true to themselves and still get to last, you right. know, and stay within, you know, stay at the top, you know. And that's what I say because I feel like Eminem's kind of teetering. Well, Eminem, I feel like Royce, I feel like Royce is is doing it a little bit better. Eminem to me came with substance at times. He never was a substance rapper. You know, he was put out. Image wise, as well, you know, at a time where you know there wasn't a white rapper holding it down, Dr. Dre ran with it because he had bars, he could rap, but there was a lot of jokes, it was a lot of playful shit, it was a lot of right. storytelling that right, made right. you, you know, just laugh. That's always been his his, his stick. Yeah, you know, is that how you say? It? I don't even know how to. Fuck. I've never stick stick. I, I've never even used that until today, to be honest. But it just sound it felt right. His sh- <laughs> his stick. But yeah, it, it's it's his thing. You know what I'm saying? And he fucking. He still has that. Him, though. He hasn't changed himself either, but that kind of rap doesn't age gracefully. That's the right. difference. I think that's what it is. That you know rap doesn't, because feels... he's, he's an older man still joking around. Right, right. And I'm, and I'm, I'm not, I'm and not I get saying, that. Because I feel like Royce but is he still funny. got it, though. I when feel he's like Royce is wise. joking, and I feel like Royce is funny. Yeah, but he also, I also feel like he's also, He's well. It's not that. It's it's for a reason. He's also more in touch with the issues and problems because he's living it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily secondhand. Where Eminem, at the end of the day, does have white privilege to an extent. You know what I'm saying? Right. As people say, where it's, you know, he he knows the struggles there. Right. But he not does can't necessarily grasp it because he hasn't lived it. He hasn't you know, gone through it necessarily himself. Whereas Royce understands it. Knows his history, obviously, because your al- his albums teach you, right. like while you're listening to it, and you know. I didn't know that shit about the ice cream. <laughs> Straight up, yeah, I didn't know that. I don't think a, a lot of people knew that until unless <laughs> like, they heard still, that. I still need to verify. Yeah, exactly. I almost feel like I'm like I want I want to look this up and be like, that's when I didn't Google yet. Right, right, right. But I mean, yeah, when you got Royce, I mean Royce, he 
he's 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 essential in the in the culture. I feel. Like, I, I think because so without him, there's a lot of that shit that he's given us. No one would touch on. Right. You know, and if they are touching on it, they don't have the platform or they're not in the position he is to get it out there to to the masses. You know, right. and I mean shit. I fuck with Royce always, you know, and I don't think he's gonna go anywhere. Nah, nah, nah. He's good. He's good. He's good to, he's good to go. Yeah. So yeah, uh, go, I mean, go fucking check out the album. Yeah, and check it out. It's called the album, Allegory. And after you hear that album, backtrack. Listen to listen to his fucking progression, like where he started and where he is now, because you won't be disappointed with any of it. <laughs> Definitely listen to Rhinestone good uh, do rag because that's yeah. interesting. Uh, yeah. But that's it, man. We are, is it, we got anything else? No, that's it. No, we are at the end of the podcast, y'all. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, we hope that you, um, give us a five star review on the podcast app. Um, we hope you made it to the end too, cause, uh, you know, that means you're, that means you're down. I mean, that means, uh, you a trillion. Yeah, you a you, real trillion. If you made it to the end, you a trillion. Okay. A tr- Certified. <clears throat> also, uh, make sure y'all check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash truth be told pod. Yes. Uh, support the podcast and uh also uh like i said we got the uh the uh, contest still going we got to the end of the month it's for a hundred dollars on cash app as well as the alexa echo dot go to trillmac.com slash contest for that you got any you got any uh it's fire okay <laughs> trillmac.com slash youtube subscribe to the youtube channel watch our a uh reactions and yes. all that. Hit us up for the merch, trillmac.com slash merch. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, buy your girl a tank. Buy her a pillow <laughs> with us on it. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy a pillow too, for real. Yeah, you really uh, could. I'm not playing with could that. Could you imagine like this, the nigga just mad as girls just snuggled up with our pillow? Why not? <laughs> Two's better than one. Right. No, like, no. <laughs> no, uh, no, but really though, no, uh, we appreciate y'all and Continue to share this with your friends. Right. And comment. Talk to us. Let us know what the fuck you want in future episodes. Give us a question of the day. You know, let us you know, fuck with us. Right. And uh, we're going to be about this thing. No, I'm saying. No, I'm talking about. Deuces. Smoke some bitch. And a fight go with that. And that's Barry Ross. And I'm Infidel Castro, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> At the last thing oh, you say, <laughs> that that's your stick, your stick, <laughs> my stick. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Truth Be Told podcast. Be sure to subscribe and log on to Chillmatic for the latest in underground music, film, fashion, and more.